and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy. I am a grad school content creator here in Atlanta, Georgia. And obviously from the title of this video, you are obviously shopping for the student in your life or you are the student that needs to give a few gift Christmas gift ideas to your fam, to your friends, to your boo boo, to your situationship, anything. And I feel like I've got quite the list for you. Um, so if you would go ahead and like and subscribe below and let's get into the video. So last year I actually did this Christmas gift kind of thing via a blog post. Um, if you don't know um, I run a blog and an Instagram page and obviously this YouTube channel based on my journey through grad school. So some background on me is that I am a third year doctorate of pharmacy student um, as well as a master's of public health student. So I'm doing a dual degree program so I know and I I feel like I sympathize and obviously I totally get the part about being a grad school student so I feel like I'm very competent enough to lecture on this subject but yes um so obviously Christmas season is upon us and I actually just had a birthday so like I kind of group my gifts as like birthday slash Christmas like I give like one complete list and I let people just choose from it based on like if you want to go ahead and get this for my birthday go ahead but this is also my Christmas list as well um and then obviously like I don't have like tons and tons of things on my Christmas and, and um, birthday list because there are some things that I can get myself because I do work um, somewhat when I'm in school. But yes, I'm, I'm gonna do this kind of like in categories. Okay, so the first kind of like grouping, and this is like honestly so obvious, coffee slash tea related things. And I say related things because yes, you can get the Mercuric, yes, you can get them in this Nespresso, but also get gift cards to Dunkin', you can get gift cards to Caribou Coffee, you can literally get gift cards for them, literally to any of their favorite coffee spots. And I feel like that is just as important and just as cool as getting the actual physical machine. Um, also, depending on where they live, they might not have room for a, K, a Keurig, although there is a Keurig Mini, which I'll link below, and it's a really pretty good shape. Or maybe they just prefer to have that gourmet cup from Starbucks and stuff. So yes, I'm gonna say coffee related things. So first, of course, being that machine, gift cards, mugs, um, and then of course I've saw this like I saw this really cool thing the other day called a Java sock, actually an iced coffee sleeve. I'm gonna link a picture here. Um, that's actually on my Christmas list because I thought it was so cute. Um, I am definitely a year-round iced coffee drinker, and you know just going from lectures to my car then to work, uh, my iced coffee definitely melts everywhere. And I thought this was like super super cute because it's literally just a cute little sleeve, and you can get them a small for like your 16 ounce to 20 ounce coffees medium for your 22 to 28 ounce coffees and largest for your 30 to 32 ounce coffees. And I think that is so cool. Um, so that's on my list. Um, and that just about wraps up everything for coffee. So we've got our actual machine, we've got gift cards to those spots, we've got mugs, and we've got um, just accessories such as that um, sleeve and even throwing like a freaking reusable cup that you can take with you. I know like when I ring in my own cup to like Starbucks and stuff, I think I get like 20 cent off. I'll, don't quote me on that, I'll check. But I know I have seen like a reduction when you use your own cup. <laughs> Actually a good segue to talk about my second grouping, which is just gift cards in general. I know people think that gift cards are like an easy way out, but I personally do not. Um, one, I am, a, I love gift cards because it gives me an opportunity to go shop for what I personally want. So if they have given you a specific item from Zara or a specific item from Banana Express, what's it called? Is it Banana Express? Banana Republic <laughs> that they wanted, then sure, go ahead and get that specific item. But if you know that is our favorite store, um, send them a Zara gift card. I got a Zara gift card for my birthday and I was over the moon because this particular person knows that I live, breathe, sleep. I'm currently wearing Zara. So of course that is such a like touching gift because like while I have never like actually verbally said like I want a Zara gift card, they knew, they were like she would love this. So I'm totally down and totally for gift cards for students. Um, you can get a gift card to something as general as like getting groceries because we're grad school students or even if you're shopping for an undergraduate student, money is hard to come by. So get them a Publix gift card, get them a Kroger gift card, get them whatever their like local grocery store is, get them a gift card for it. Get it for their favorite store, um, get it for something like something for their, need something for their dorm, get a gift card for like Bed Bath Beyond, Dormify, um, 
there's just like so many good options out there. Something that I used to love when I was in undergrad and my mom would send me like care packages is she would give me like a, a gift card bundle. So like, yeah, she'd send the jacket I left at home or the shoes that I forgot to bring, but she would also throw in like a Starbucks gift card, a Duggan gift card, and then like a gift card to go to our, um, I think the only, the only grocery store we had over there was Walmart. So she gave me a Walmart gift card and I literally like it made my day. Like it was great. Um, and then also food gift cards. So not just groceries, but to their favorite little coffee shops or their favorite little restaurants nearby. As for me, when I was in undergrad, that typically meant Panera, Chick-fil-A, and Zaxby's. Those are like the three ones that were like around me and I used to smash on those gift cards. And honestly, like I would forget about them sometimes and then you just like look in your wallet one day and you're like, oh, It's great. So yes, gift cards. It can be clothing, coffee, food, and actual groceries. Or even a general like $100 like Visa gift card. That still wonder, still works wonders for us broke students out there. There's even DoorDash gift cards. Like there are so many options out there that can literally just make a student's life easier. Next up, as I talked about in this previous section, I talked about if you knew, if you knew of a specific clothing item that they wanted, go ahead and get it from them. But also, I am such an advocate for like nerdy clothing related to like someone's major. Love it. Um, and I'm quite biased being that I do personally have an Etsy shop dedicated to like nerdy puns. Um, shameless plug, Cozy and Cramming on Etsy is my shop. So like, as you guys know, I am in pharmacy school. So like my expertise is drugs and stuff and what it does to the body. And so like, of course I have sweatshirts on my Etsy site that are like chilling like penicillin or because I in said so. And when I tell you <laughs> like, <gasps> They, there's it's, it's just so fun to wear because it's like funny to you and you're like the one that get it and then when you see someone else like you know at the coffee shop or like when I'm going grocery shopping and they're like I love that and they're like yeah I'm a nurse or like yeah I'm I'm a doctor or I'm, I'm this and I'm like hey you get it you get it so I love that I love like just nerdy clothing related to their major and it doesn't necessarily have to be something related to their major especially because there are undecided students and people change all the time and that's perfectly fine um so maybe just something like school pride in general so a new sweatshirt for school um say they go to georgia or they go to alabama just a new sweatshirt and those are typically pretty easy to find you know even just like some new school gear in general um i know like yeti does like the school pride um ramblers i personally have a rambler i know something that i'm gifting my brother is one of the georgia tech yeti ramblers or that well that's what's on my list to possibly get because um, they've been sold out and if I can't find one in store, then I'm just going to have to order it from Yeti and it won't be here in time. But, um, that is something that I personally am interested in getting my little brother. Um, so maybe their college participates in the Yeti pro program where they have the different Yetis. Um, like he specifically goes to Georgia Tech. But I think that's super cool or just like sweatshirts in general, socks, hats, anything that they can wear around campus, even a new backpack that they're like school in it. Um, that's pretty cool just to show some like school pride. And of course, for my healthcare peeps out there, um, scrubs. <laughs> Please get us scrubs. Scrubs can be expensive. And we all know of those like fashion brand scrubs. Um, I personally do have a few pair as well as I am ambassador for Landau scrubs. So I do actually get those um, gifted to me, but I know how expensive scrubs can be. So like if you have a student in your life and you know specifically the color they have to wear for school or um, already someone that's practicing and you already know the color they have to wear based on the department, go ahead and get them a pair of scrubs um, specifically in that color. If you don't know their sides, maybe like if you know a specific brand that they like, um, send them a scrubs gift card to get scrubs and um, that will help a lot. Speaking of school, let's make a segue into our next section, which is just school supplies in general. Um, and I'm not saying go literally only gift them a whole like gift basket of just school supplies. I think that might be on someone's list who literally just wants that. But I will say like around this time when they're like clearancing out all the like markers and the pins and the highlighters and stuff, maybe go ahead and like scrape up a few of those very fast and just throw them in the gift bag and your gift bags or in their stockings. Um, because I don't know about y'all, but I go through pins and highlighters like it's my job. Like literally at the end of every semester, I have to get like a new pack or something. So definitely I would totally say that if you did see like walk past an aisle and you saw some highlighters on sale or some pins on sale, some good pins, first of all, good pins. Um, go ahead and 
crate those bad boys up and just make it a good stocking, stocking stuffer. Same thing when it comes to like agendas um, slash planners and like wall, like desk planners, even wall planners. Of course, as the year is ending, because Christmas is literally like our last, one of our last events of the year, obviously the new 2022 calendars and planners and wall calendars, everything is coming out. Go ahead and snag them with something too, because we need it. You know, school literally starts like what, two weeks after the beginning of the year, depending on where you go. I know for me it does. But um, uh, last year, Adam gifted me the coolest planner ever. Um, he got me this Conquest Journal Planner and it's Harry Potter edition and it's so cool. So it's literally like a spiral spell book and it is so cool. So it doesn't have to be just like one of those like basic planners and, and if, that, if that is their vibe, totally stick with that. But like if you know they're specifically into Harry Potter like I am or Game of Thrones, Friends came back randomly this year or The Office which is literally never, never gonna go out of style. Definitely see if you can find something that's on that speed and it's like particular to like things that they love um, or even if they like have like people that they um, follow that have like collabs with planners. I know like a YouTuber that I follow she had a collaboration with the like, this really cool planner brand um, it's called like doing well daily I think that's pretty cool but yes if you could find something that's like you know something that's like along their vibe mixed in with something they need such as a planner um, totally go ahead and grab that and the last but not least section is technology and okay before you like go oh, oh, ain't nobody got no money to do that I know I'm not saying go buy them the new 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip in space gray with the matching mouse. That may or not be on my Christmas list, but I ain't gonna tell you. Um, <laughs> but technology, um, it's 2021. We live breathe sleep technology as students honestly um so of course this this ranges you know you could go something as small as getting them a new sd card if they are into content creation on the side um getting them a new mouse getting them a new wireless keyboard or wired keyboard um you heard that their apple pencil was malfunctioning maybe just helping them out with getting them a new apple pencil and even that could be something where you even gave a gift card to apple um stuff like that so that's that's like there's just so many different ways to gift your loved ones like what they need slash want so their apple pencils malfunctioning their ipads a little older maybe help them out with giving them a gift card to apple or if you are in that place to where you could go ahead and give them a new ipad or apple pencil totally do that they would love you for that like so many different things regarding technology that you can work with especially if you know what they currently have so something that i was thinking of doing was gifting my boyfriend a new ipad case he has an ipad and i personally was thinking of doing like a really cool anime like looking for an anime ipad case he's really into anime he's really into comics he's really into manga all that stuff so i was thinking of doing something like that so you could totally do something like that so you could update their ipad case um i don't know about y'all but but my iPad case, like literally, like is so dirty now. Like I got a, I got a gray, like a light gray color, and it's a great case, but it's so dirty just because like it's always my bag and stuff. And I've definitely spilled coffee on it. But yes, <laughs> you could get them like a new iPad case, a new MacBook case. You can get them a mouse. Like there's just so many things in the realm of tech that you could do. Um, even moving on to like headphones. Um, for those of you who have roommates, I feel for you. I currently live with my boyfriend now and he's a big gamer. And I thought I had really good noise canceling headphones before. I need better ones. So that's on my personal Christmas list. I wanna to upgrade to like a better form of wireless like noise canceling headphones. Um, I also was thinking of upgrading my AirPods. I heard the, I think I have like the second gen. So they're currently on the pros. So maybe upgrading your left one to the AirPod Pros maybe, something like that. So there's just so many options. So we can go mouse, SD card if they're into content creation. And if you really wanna splurge, maybe getting them a camera. Um, I actually have the Canon um, content creator kit, which was my camera. It came with the SD card, battery. It came with a handheld tripod and um, the lens that I shoot on actually and that's something that's on my personal um, Christmas list as well is that I want a new wide lens for my camera so for example if you're gonna like splurge on one gift for your student you know they're into content creation they're building their channel um, they've been talking about a new lens you get them that new lens um, stuff like that so 
yeah, there's just so many options right there. You know, you can get a lens from Best Buy. So maybe get them a Best Buy gift card to help them with that payment for the lens. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's just so many options out there when it comes to tech. So I hope that helped you guys get some ideas for what to get the student in your life. As I mentioned before, I would try my best to go ahead and link everything that I've said or all the ideas I've given below. If you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe below and I'll see you guys next time.